I love space. Oh, we're recording. <laughs> Hi. Hello, hello, my name is Echo. Before we get started, uh, if you're new here, I just wanna let you know that I have a very weird skin condition and I'm not wearing makeup, so you might see it today. Essentially, I have this really weird skin condition where if I have any pressure on my skin, uh, it will react as though I'm having an allergic reaction. I do take medication for it, so I'm perfectly fine. It doesn't hurt, it just looks bad. <laughs> you can already see one spot on my neck where I went to move my hair and accidentally touched my neck, and now I've got a big red spot there that will be gone in six minutes. Usually I wear makeup, so that covers all of this. However, today we're gonna be doing a weird makeup tutorial. So there's kind of this trend on YouTube right now where YouTube comedians will try um, to follow beauty guru makeup tutorials. Jenna Marbles and Ricky Dillon tried to follow James Charles makeup tutorials. Jeffree Star tried to follow one of Tana's tutorials, and then Tana tried to follow one of Jeffree Star's tutorials, and it's just been a beautiful mess. And I wanna do it, because it looks fun. However, I feel like the stakes are a teeny bit higher for me because I market myself as having an art channel on YouTube. Although I also want to point out that artists and beauty gurus are not the same thing. They are both separately skills in and of themselves, similar but different. If it's on paper and a flat surface, I can do okay, but I don't know about face painting. From the beginning, I knew I wanted to follow a tutorial from Made You Look because she is amazing. Her tutorials are beautiful, and even if you don't do them, they're just amazing to watch. She is an artist of a completely different breed. And a very long time ago, she actually made a Harley Quinn video, so I'm gonna try it. This video is really old, but it's also one of her most popular, so we're gonna see how it goes. I hope it works. I'm excited because Made You Look is like one of my absolute like favorite beauty people on YouTube. The stuff that she does is absolutely amazing, and I just want her skin because it's beautiful. And her jawline, goddamn girl. So I bought a large variety of actual makeup for my face because I care about it and acrylic paint for the rest of my skin because I don't care about it. She would be so disappointed in me if she knew what I was about to do to my skin. I did a couple tests to make sure that this would come off with makeup wipes so it's not like it's gonna be on my skin for hours and it is non-toxic but it's not specifically meant for skin. I just don't have access to all the like really intense body paints that she does so I'm just gonna make do. We're gonna go with it. Making it up as we go. Are you ready? I'm not. Let's go for it. So you say me listen to our own video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. My play button is much smaller than hers. I'm starting off by painting on three white circles using white body paints. I'm then drawing a line across my neck and looping all three of those circles together. Okay, simple and straightforward. Let's start there. This is gonna be a hideous mess. Why is your neck so much prettier than mine? Okay, that's one. That'll work. Nice if I had collarbones. I think this trend will just become a permanent staple on YouTube where instead of reviews of tutorials, we'll just have people actually trying them on camera for entertainment. Cause I could see that happening. I'm okay with that. And it's in my hair. What next? I'm outlining my entire left side using red body paint and then switching to a bigger brush and filling in that whole section. I'm then outlining the other side using black body paint, filling it in and also filling in my neck. Here we go. I feel like I've already messed this up. It is so difficult having to do this while looking at myself from a mirror on either side of a table. I'm using one of these. Oh yeah. Like a fucking house. I feel like this video format allows for an entirely new breed of collabs between beauty gurus. Although technically this could be applied to any tutorial community on YouTube. My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think. Paint me like one of your French girls. Or a house, either one. Dab it like a beauty blender. Boom. It's a good start. To start off some soft shading on the red side, I'm using dark red eyeshadow and just shading around the collar as well as where the two halves come together. Shading, that makes sense. Am I dry? Yes. How's that working? Ooh, that one's working. Oh 
oh yeah, fake those collarbones. To define the shading even more and mix red and black body paint together, I'm going around the same areas. Well, this is gonna get challenging. Okay, now where did she put this? Under here. Good enough so far. Then going around the collar to make that shadow more defined. Okay, looks like she's a teeny bit of black to outline this side. Um, I don't know if I can do that, but we're gonna try. Well, I mean, it does make it look better. That was probably a good call. On the black side, obviously, because black shadows aren't gonna show up, I'm gonna be going in with the highlight. I'm taking white body paint and adding creases where the two fabrics tie together, as well as on my side, around the collar, which you wanna leave a little bit of what would be a shadow as well there. For this part, I'm gonna be using NYX white eyeshadow. How does she do this? Uh... Fake that collarbone. That's not bad. I'm okay with that. A little dusty. It's fine. What comes after? And I'm this? also adding some highlights to the red side as well. Red highlights. Did not think of that. I'm okay with it so far. Phoenix fell asleep. Foundation brush. I'm then painting my face white and leaving open the mask for now. So, because I do care about the well-being of my face to some degree, I've decided not to use. Uh, paint on my face and instead use actual makeup. So for this part, I'm going to be using a Maybelline New York cover-up stick in white. Technically this is like an off-white, but it's still light enough that it passes for white. It's very white passing, like me. So how did she do this? God, she did everything, even her lips. Uh, well, here we go. This smells like a crayon. Full coverage. And that didn't happen. Well, my hair is getting in on the action, I guess. I look terrifying. <laughs> For on my eyes itself, I'm lightly applying white body paint and then setting that using white eyeshadow. Go ahead and line your eyes. I'm using the Night Owl Eyeliner. I feel like my face is completely throwing off the white balance in this video. Okay, let's see if we can figure out how to do liquid eyeliner from a distance. Oh yeah, there we go. On the mask, I'm using black body paint and an angled brush and just drawing the outline for right now. It does not have to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. What happens if I put black eyeshadow on my ear? What if I just use my finger like a savage? Oh yeah, there we go. Eyeshadow all the way. I am the coal miner's daughter. That's, that's good enough. Once again, because I do not want to use acrylic on my face, I'm actually going to be using a gel eyeliner to make this mask. Because I love gel eyeliner, it's my fave. This one is the Rimmel London Scandalize in black. See how this mess goes. This one got a little bit messed up. Is there a way to fix it, do you think? Reapply that right over the eyeliner that I just put in place. Yes. Yes. Ruin all of my hard work. Ah ha 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 ha. Uh, everything is a mess. Did I really just put it back in the same spot? I did. Well, whatever. Well, the top part is way too thick. But what you gonna do apart from make it thinner? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. We're gonna cover it with eyeshadow and pretend it never happened. That's probably as good as we're gonna get with this. I'm also adding some extra white highlights in there as well. Just to define the mask a little bit more, I'm using gray eyeshadow and putting that right underneath the mask to create a slight shadow on my face. Ah, uh, ah, uh, tiny, tiny highlight teeny bit of shadow underneath. Okay. For my lips, I mixed the other red and black body paint and I also extended the lips to a little bit more of a point. So unfortunately, this is the only uh, red lip product that I own because the majority of my stuff is like lip stains, which doesn't really work for this. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna set it with eyeshadow and we're gonna see how it works. At 
this point, I'm just trying to correct my mistakes. Although there are far too many. So for the red things, I've been using this Bloody Mary eyeshadow that I got for Halloween like years ago because it works great. This is what my ears used to look like before I knew the right way to dye my hair. And now that I have a giant mess everywhere, uh, let's go ahead and finish this. There it is, that's what I got for you. Oh my god, how long have I been filming? I have been filming for almost three hours. This was very intense. This white paint is already cracking and just crumbling to bits. So I'm gonna say if you ever wanna do this, don't ever do it with acrylic paint, because it makes no sense. Unless you're hopping on a trend train, buy some actual decent body paint makeup online. On the upside, each of these bottles was only 50 cents. This is very cool though, and I am gonna get some really good still frames out of it. I'm gonna throw a prediction into the universe and say the next stage of this is going to be beauty gurus reacting to people trying their makeup tutorials, and I am here for it. For the fun of it, I'm gonna turn this into a challenge and challenge my friends Crystal and Hannah to do this. Come on, Crystal, I know you watch Glam and Gore. Do it. Honestly, I think that's all I got for you today. Um, I'm gonna give you like 400 awesome points for making it to the end of this video, and now I'm gonna go and take a bath. I will see you later. Bye. Have a great day. Uh, did you ever notice in the original cartoon, Harley Quinn's eyes and teeth were yellow? It's true. Look at it. Are you ready for this? No.